So hello guys, this is another video and the topic for this video would be electroencephalogram or EEG and we'll be talking about the different waves which are observed in it. So now let's get started. So we have to talk about EEG. So EEG hota kya hai? It's a record of the electrical activity of the brain. So what is EEG? It is the record of the electrical activity of the brain. ठीक है अभी electrical activity of the brain दो तरीके से measure हम कर सकते हैं one is EEG which is electro electroencephalogram and another another one that is the electrocorticogram तो दोनों में फिर difference क्या है electrocorticogram या electroencephalogram electroencephalogram में record हम करते हैं by placing the electrodes over the scalp so if we place the electrodes on the scalp, then it would be called as electroencephalogram, abbreviated as EEG. Or on the other hand, if we record by uh, placing the electrodes on the pial surface of the cortex, or then cerebral cortex ke direct contact mein electrode place kare, to se hum kehte electrocorticogram. But uh, normally, it is uh, it is it is rather not feasible to perform this. So EEG that is Preferred. ठीक है अब EEG दो तरीकों से measure कर सकते हैं we can do it by bipolar method और unipolar method तो दो method कौन से हैं एक है unipolar method और एक क्या है bipolar method so as the name suggests unipolar method में we are using just one active electrode active cortical electrode एक होगा और जो दूसरा electrode है which is indifferent electrode इसका मतलब क्या है जो एक्टिव इलेक्ट्रोड है वो हम कहाँ प्लेस करेंगे वो हम स्कैल्प पे उस एरिया पे प्लेस करेंगे जिस पार्ट ऑफ ब्रेन का हमें स्टडी करना है ठीक है लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम प्लेसिंग द एक्टिव इलेक्ट्रोड ओवर द स्कैल्प व्हिच इज ओवर द फ्रंटल लो तो एक्टिव इलेक्ट्रोड यहाँ प्लेस किया और इनडिफरेंट दूसरा इलेक्ट्रोड कहाँ पर हम प्लेस करेंगे सो दैट वुड बी प्लेस ऑन एनी एरिया विच इज फार अवे फ्रॉम दॉटिक्स ठीक है कॉटिकल पोर्शन जो हम मेजर कर रहे हैं so for example we take it as ear lobes so, indifferent electrode ear lobe pe present hoga jabki active cortical electrode kaha present hoga over the scalp theek hai ab bipolar mein kya hota hai so there are instead there are two active electrodes so there are two active electrodes or rather i can say both the electrodes these are active electrodes and these both are placed over the scalp jaise hame they can be used for measuring the two uh, potential difference between two or lobes like it can be used for one can be placed over the frontal and another can be placed over the parietal so we can understand the difference between both of them so I hope we use the electroencephalogram it's a unipolar method and a bipolar method this is clear right now this method which is EEG this was first obtained or you can say it was first introduced by Hans Berger so this method of recording the electrical activity of the brain that was first introduced by Hans Berger. This is Berger's technique. Bhi kehte. Now, you have to note that we note electrical activity of brain. So, which electrical activity? Hoti? Electrical activity can be of two types. It can be uh, action potential which can spread or it can be local potentials like the uh, dendritic post-synaptic potentials in the dendrite. Theek hai? So action potential हो सकता है या फिर post synaptic potentials हो सकते हैं dendrites के अंदर होते हैं post synaptic right so post इनमें से कौन सा measure करेगा EEG so answer is post synaptic potentials measure करता है EEG कौन सा measure करता है post synaptic potentials now always remember that जो dendrites हैं suppose I'm drawing here a neuron so ये cell body हैं these are the dendrites so dendrites और cell body or the soma ke andar there is alternating shifting between the dipoles so kabhi dipole ke direction towards dendrite hoi ki kabhi dipole ke direction away from dendrite hoi ki thik hai agar hum yun kahe ki or i can just read and you will get it so let's read it so note that eg record eg recorded from the scalp that is a measure of summation of the dendritic post synaptic potentials rather than the axon potentials in the superficial layer of the cortex. Important kya hai? Axon ke potentials which is the action potential that is not measured. Rather what is measured is the dendritic post synaptic potentials. These are measured. Theek hai? Now another point. The cell body dendritic relationship is that of a constantly shifting dipole. 
इसका मतलब क्या है whenever the sum of the dendritic activity हम sum क्यों करें because we know that it is an example of a local potential ठीक है and graded potentials they can be summated so whenever the sum of the dendritic activity that is negative relative to the soma तो उसके बाद हम क्या कहेंगे अगर dendritic डेंड्राइट्स क्या है वो नेगेटिव शो कर रहे हैं पोलैरिटी एज कंपेयर टू द सेल बॉडी इसका मतलब सेल बॉडी क्या है न्यूरॉन इज डीपोलराइज एंड वाइसा वर्सा का क्या मतलब है अगर डेंड्राइट्स पॉजिटिव है एज कंपेयर टू द सोमा दैट मींस द सेल बॉडी और द न्यूरॉन वी कैन से दैट इज इन अ हाइपर पोलराइज्ड स्टेट आई होप दिस बेसिक इज दिस दीस बेसिक्स दीस आर वेरी मच क्लियर सो नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट वेव फॉर्म्स व्हिच आर फाउंड सो डिफरेंट वेव फॉर्म्स पहले हमें लर्न करने का तरीका सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट वे फॉर्म्स लर्न कैसे करेंगे लर्न इट एज डी टैब डी टैब डी स्टैंड फॉर द डेल्टा वेव टी फॉर थीटा ए फॉर अल्फा बी फॉर बीटा एंड यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर गामा ठीक है अब दीज वेव दीज आर इन ऑर्डर मतलब जब हम डेल्टा वेव टू गामा वेव मूव करते हैं तो एम्पलीट्यूड डिक्रीज करता जाता है एंड देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी ठीक है इसका मतलब क्या हुआ the wave with the least uh, frequency the wave with the least frequency that would be the delta wave so iski least frequency hogi however it will have maximum amplitude so iski maximum amplitude hoga theek hai on the other hand uh, gamma waves this would be the, uh, these would have least amplitude but they would have highest frequency theek hai ab hame frequency ki learn kaise kare so uh, remember 4 8 12 and then you have to learn 30 ye ek technique hai theek hai now delta uh, wave less uh, would have the frequency which is lesser than 4 hertz so kitne hue 1 to 3 hertz theta waves lesser than 8 matlab 4 to 7 hertz likewise alpha waves is bari lesser than 12 nahi hai up to 12 hai theek hai so it would be from 8 to 12 beta waves From 13 to 30 and gamma waves that is 80 hertz. अब इसका मतलब क्या देखो? जैसे-जैसे frequency बढ़ती जाती है, वैसे-वैसे we can say that electrical activity बढ़ रही है brain की. Brain more alert हो रहा है. तो इसका मतलब least जब brain least alert form में होगा, then the wave would be the delta wave. And under higher uh, under the higher concentrations, अगर आप किसी चीज़ पे बहुत ज़्यादा concentrate या focus कर रहे हो, then the waves observed will be the gamma waves we will see them individually also theek hai main ek brief de deti hu delta waves jab aap deep sleep mein ho theta waves jab emotional state hai aapki alpha waves when you are in rest restful condition and you are with eyes closed with eyes closed is important but with mind wandering theek hai and then beta waves when your eyes as soon as eyes open alpha waves they change into the beta waves and then gamma waves when you are focusing so now let us discuss this so delta waves i have already said that origin of them is cerebral cortex these occur independent of activity in lower areas iska matlab abhi samjhati hu but these are recorded in deep sleep which stages of sleep stage 3rd and stage 4th of non random eye movement sleep so we'll be discussing about sleep also in some other video but You know, you have to note that delta waves; these are recorded in deep sleep and stage three and four, particularly of the non-random uh, eye movement uh, sleep. Okay, these can be recorded in infants or in uh, patients with serious organic brain disorders. अब इसका क्या मतलब हुआ? अगर independent of activity in lower area, इसका मतलब है lower area here. I mean reticular formation. We know that reticular formation that acts as an on and off switch of consciousness. So we know that. reticular formation this is an on and off switch of consciousness theek hai to ye jo delta waves hai ye reticular formation ko aap stimulate karoge to ideally kya hona chahiye aapka cerebral cortex alert hona chahiye but these delta waves these are independent of those theek hai aur uh, theta waves okay so this much is clear then theta waves the origin of theta waves is hippocampus now hippocampus this is a part of limbic lobe theek hai limbic system ka part hai iska matlab this is concerned with emotional state so recorded in emotional states in states of depression frustration stress and all now we come on to iska matlab kya hai jo uh, young children hai you know in children the uh, theta waves that would be 
less comparatively less now alpha waves whenever you are whenever you are at rest with eyes closed and mind is wandering as soon as your eyes are opened the alpha waves they convert into beta waves and this process of conversion of alpha waves to beta waves इसे आप अराउजल कह सकते हो इसे अल्फा ब्लॉक कह सकते हैं इसी को अलर्टिंग रिस्पॉन्स कह सकते हैं इसी को डिसंक्रोनाइजेशन भी कह सकते हैं ठीक है आई एम रिपीटिंग अल्फा वेव्स कब होंगी वेन एवर यू आर एट रेस्ट विद आईज क्लोज एंड योर माइंड इज वॉन्ड्रिंग अवे बट एज सोन एज यू आई यू ओपन योर आईज देन दीज एल्फा वेव्स दे कन्वर्ट इन टू बीटा वेव्स एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अराउजल एल्फा ब्लॉक या अलर्टिंग रिस्पॉन्स ओके नाउ बीटा वेव्स they originate in the cortex but these are dependent on the activity of the lower areas particularly the reticular formation theek hai but as soon as you start focusing or concentrating on something you are uh, going to change the beta waves to gamma waves with a frequency of nearly 80 hertz theek hai now let us come on to uh, desynchronization so desynchronization kya alerting response hai jo aap alert ho rahe ho theek hai this is produced by ras what is ras reticular activating system so you know that uh, reticular formation pure brain stem mein localized hai reticular formation pure brain stem mein localized hai jo ki on and off switch of consciousness hai so on and off switch hai kiska consciousness ka ras ya reticular formation also you can see ठीक है नाउ अब हमें क्या जब भी रास स्टिमुलेट होगा तब डिसंक्रोनाइजेशन होगी ये हमें पता कैसे चला सो वेन एवर यू स्टिमुलेट स्पेसिफिक सिस्टम अप टू द लेवल ऑफ मिड ब्रेन तो हमें देखा कि अलर्टिंग रिस्पांस हो रहा है लेकिन अगर हम स्टिमुलेशन कर रहे थे अब द लेवल ऑफ मिड ब्रेन तो नो अलर्टिंग रिस्पॉन्स आ रहा था इसका मतलब क्या है कि कोई ऐसा सिस्टम है जो अलर्ट करवा रहा है जो कि ब्रेन स्टेम में प्रेजेंट है बिलो दी अप टू द लेवल ऑफ मिड ब्रेन तो वो सिस्टम कौन सा है दैट इज द reticular formation theek okay? hai um, and before ending my video i would like to discuss some important uh, some uses of eeg so we can use eeg for uh, the localization of some pathological conditions which can be subdumer uh, subdural hematoma agar fluid accumulate ho jata hai so that uh, that gives a dull ya fir electrical activity alter ho jayegi theek okay? hai that can be perceived by an eeg or you can uh, can to confirm a brain that you can use it or you can use it for the diagnosis of epilepsy so i can write here uh, some uses of some uses of eeg so you can use it to diagnose to confirm rather brain death confirm brain death you can use it to diagnose eeg uh, you can use it to diagnose epilepsy diagnose diagnosis of epilepsy and uh, the following video would be on epilepsy and seizures so please do watch that also or you can uh, use it to identify the pathological conditions so for the localization of various pathological conditions okay so this ends my video guys and please do like share and subscribe to the channel and thank you